Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. Today I'll be reconstructing my mech suit legs. Enjoy. So the first thing I'm going to do is start off the base of the foot. Now as you can see over here on my old mech suit legs, I used uh, bins to make myself look taller. And when I push pressure on this, it's going to sink into the, the base. So I don't have two bins right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use cardboard tubes and I'm going to stack them up and glue them together. So so um since like november i've been saving up all my cardboard tubes so i have a bunch of toilet paper rolls and uh the process i have right now looks like this and it's awful lot so i recommend save up your cardboard tubes and toilet paper rolls but uh if you don't have a bunch of these then what you can do is stand on two bins you can get some of those from home depot or maybe your garage Otherwise, you can layer up cardboard. All I'm doing right now is making up cardboard tubes, so I might fill them with expanding foam later. Otherwise, I'm just laying down rows of them so I can put them together a little bit easier. And um, this is like added structure because of the tube shape, so I can make a foot out of it. All right, so um, right here, I'm using the uh, cardboard hooves. And uh, I'm just gonna, I put them on plates of cardboard and I held them down with hot glue temporarily. And I'm just filling them with wood glue. Uh, it's gonna be a little sloppy job, but I don't really care as long as they're filled up and sealed. All right, so what I did was um, to make sure they're going to be as strong as possible, I essentially made it an artificial brick. I covered uh, it all in flex tape and then I filled it with um, paper mache and wall plaster so it's going to be solid in the middle so it won't collapse in on itself so i have these two metal frames right here and these things are kind of like cliche pvc pipes and i'm going to glue them together and then i'm going to put them right there so it's a frame so i can then build up from there okay so now i have uh these two old pairs of shoes right here and uh, I'm gonna cut a little slot right here and then put this piece of cardboard right here so it's more flat and it'll give me a surface to walk on. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to plant the shoes uh, into these artificial bricks. And uh, I'm going to cut a little space out here so my foot's a little bit more forward so I can show you what I'm going to do later. But And I'm going to use uh, screws to screw it in that way so it will just hold tighter. Alright, so I'm going to start by um, putting some screws through the uh, soles of my shoes so it will stay into the cardboard. Alright, so as you can see here, I fold it up. Uh, the rest of the edges just to the rest of the box and um, I have the both of these tubes are really strong and you can see my toe on the shoe sticks out a little bit more and that's because if the shoe was all the way back then I, it would be more difficult to walk so what I'm doing here is as you can see if I lift my foot up and like bend my toe that part bends forward a little bit like a normal shoe so it'll be easier to walk Okay, so what I have here is half of this cylinder with a piece of cardboard flattening it out. And that is so I can put it wherever I want so I'll have a good base for where I'm going to have the uh, shoe regulation. Okay, so as you can see, I had the shoe uh, base before I all covered up in more armor. Uh, you can see it's almost finished and the bottom's almost completely filled up. Now, as you can see, um, there is a slant that comes upward and that is because on my old mech suit legs it was just pick up and then slide if I needed to but with this um, slant right here it would be more easier to walk rather than just picking it up to move all my every movement there is so it would be like a regular shoe if, as if there's not even a bunch of cardboard underneath it see this I can actually uh, walk a little bit more normally so I'll just show you a little quick test walk here
Okay, so now we're going to work up to the knee, and when we get to the knee, I'm going to explain uh, some more mechanics, but first, I'm going to just add plates of cardboard that go up about four inches above this pipe right here, and uh, then we'll start working on the knee. Okay, so uh, now we're going to start chipping away at the uh, progress for the knee. As you can see, uh, there's that slant ramp right here, so I can walk a little bit more traditionally. And then after this knee part, we'll go back and um, fix the foot for more detail. And uh, anyway, so I have this piece right here, and that's going to go inside right here. And it's going to go at a slant. So when I have another box that's going to go where my thigh is and I bend my knee, it won't expose your kneecap as much as you want it to. If you put the thigh part on right here, so when you uh, bend the knee, it won't expose the knee in the front. And then when you close it back up, you'll be okay. So that's what the uh, slant in the bottom is also for, so this ability is enabled. So when you open your knee, it will be protected. Okay, so now I've moved on to the foot, <clears throat> and um, it looks complex, but it's just hinges on the sides, and then the rest is a little gap right there, so when I bend my foot forward, it will allow to collapse inward, and then it'll be sprung back up, and it goes the slant downward, so I don't like trip on anything. Yeah, so next we're just going to put some detail on to make it look even more like battle ready. Okay, so now I'm going to add some ribbed armor texture, and it's like arced up on two sides, and it's flat on the bottom, so it will go easily into the foot, and I'm going to do that to both of the legs to give it some more, like, dimension. Alright, so I think the last thing I'm going to have to do is just paint them. I uh, put them by my mech suit, and they already look very good. Um, I forgot to mention that I actually added some detail on the side here this is what it looks like to make it look a little bit more robust more robotic uh, the rib texture definitely adds some uh, dimension there and then the foot mechanism is for cover-up purpose and um, they're so much better than what I had they were kind of just really thrown together so I needed a new set of Bexu legs so I can actually do some more movies and uh yes yeah, so I guess I'm just got to paint them again so for the paint job, I'm going to be using this hammered gunmetal color. Alright, so here they look. And um, I'm going to put them next to my mech suit and probably put it on again. But um, So yeah, they're much more robust and trusty to actually wear. Unlike the last ones, which kept falling apart. Uh, let's just do a quick suit up. Alright guys, so here it is. I'm still making a few extra modifications to my uh, torso part. But uh, yeah, that's uh, how you build mech suit legs. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you like more of these builds as I do, like and subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you guys later.